Joining me right now is Tom Zuba. Tom is a grief guide, author, and inspirational speaker. Tom has definitely had his share of grief. His 18-month-old daughter died suddenly in 1990. Then nine years later, his wife suddenly died. And in an even worse turn, his 13-year-old son died in 2005 from brain cancer. Tom is here with us today to talk about healing after the death of a loved one and creating a new life for the new year. Good morning, Tom. How are you? Good morning. I'm doing great. Well, it is certainly hard to go through the death of a loved one, but to lose your entire family, that's, that's devastating. How did you move forward after enduring so much pain? Well, it's been a 20-year journey, and I read a lot of books, and I talked with a lot of people. But one of the things I realized is that even though conventional wisdom suggests that we keep busy and we keep busy, sooner or later I needed to take time to simply be with myself, to be with my new life and figure out what was I going to do now? What am I going to create? Um, and I created these 10 steps that we're going to talk about, which are posted on my website, which is www.tomzuba.com. So if anything kind of um, feels right to you, by all means, visit my website. Well, you talk about creating a new life in the new year. What are those steps that you suggest a grieving person take, whether it's a grieving over a loved one or, or over some other loss in your life? Well, the very first thing you need to do is commit to a plan. Commit to the fact that you can heal. Um, I think that there's many, many people that feel that they, they, they're never going to heal again. They're never going to be able to create a new life or build a new life. So um, commit to healing. Set the intention to heal. Um, that's where you need to begin. You also talk about starting a journal, maybe talking about things you're thankful for every day until you kind of see your attitude change around. Explain that. Well, um, uh, gratitude journals have been around for a long time, but one of the things that we can do is we can really change the way we look at our life. Um, of course, when we're grieving, we feel angry, we feel sad, we feel depressed, we feel lonely, all different kinds of feelings and emotions. But if we add one other um, aspect to our life, and that's gratitude, then we can slowly begin to change. So my recommendation is commit to spending time every single day to look for things you're grateful for. And in the beginning, maybe it's, it's a soft pillow. Maybe it's the fact that the day's over and you can go to bed. Um, but, but look for things to be thankful for. Well, thank you so much for those steps. We do appreciate it, and I'm sure that will help many of us as we head into the new year. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. Mm -hmm. Thank you.